thousands gather in Paris to pay respects to murdered teacher Samuel Paty in Paris, France. A sea of signs proclaiming, pardon my French, <laughs> a, um, a sea of signs proclaiming uh, uh, Je suis prof or Je suis Samuel, aka I am a teacher and I am Samuel, um, covered the uh, <laughs> Palais de République in Paris on Sunday, October 18th. The beheading of teacher, teacher Samuel Paty on the previous Friday sparked outrage across France and evoked memories of the 2015 massacre that occurred at the office of satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo. Paty had been the target of online threats for showing caricatures of the Prophet Muhammad. Uh, France 24 interviewed a number of teachers at the event. Quote, as a kindergarten teacher, I came here to defend my mission to educate, to sharpen the critical thinking skills of my pupils, said an educator. This makes me want to teach even more. There will be a before and an after this horrible event, end quote. So it's je suis. Thank je you. suis professeur. Je suis I semi. knew you speak French, so I was like, why isn't Rivka saying this? Um, oh, really quickly, we uh, got a super sticker from Hindu Historian, and it's a little giggling pair. Um, thank you for the five Canadian dollars. Uh, thank you. Our friend, and you're yes. probably laughing at my terrible accent. <laughs> um, but anyways, your commentary on this story. Oh, um, Terrell is also saying, uh, uh, we should cover this. Did you see the link I sent you about the French imam who stood up for Samuel referring to him as martyr for free speech? Yes, in yeah. fact, I have retweeted mm -hmm. videos of that imam. And he's. I understand that he's now getting threats for this. Um, we can either Ooh. cover that next week on the news next. or... I could do a live stream on it, maybe. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll do a live stream. Yeah, okay, good. Um... But look at the comments here on this. So the top comment, even though it's not literally at the top because Facebook is stupid, is by Luciano saying, ban all religions, they are dangerous. Well, I mean, if we're banning dangerous ideas, then Lucio, uh, Luciano, we should be banning you as well. Hello. So you're dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> you have danger. You're, okay, so this is, this, Luciano, your, your views are self-contradictory. Because you want to give the government the authority to ban the expression of ideas. And that is a dangerous idea. So you just ban yourself. You, you know, they are dangerous. Yeah, your idea is also dangerous, Luciano. So based on your argument, you should be banned. Um, Isa, Isaura is saying the religion of peace strikes again. I'm so oh tired of this. God. God damn it, like... Ah, like 10 years were you making the same goddamn joke? Yes, it's, Islam is not peaceful, okay? It's not. But can you guys come up with new material? Um, Joseph is saying religion is so dangerous it can manipulate the mind of the weak, though, though not all, but a few. Is that really okay? Very original take. I hope they... What is this? Reassess. Things and not just protest. Well, yeah, they are reassessing things in France. We're going to monitor exactly. I'm like, I'm keeping my eye on France to see exactly how they're going to respond to this because I have a lot of hope from the, at least the rhetoric from Macron has been really good. Identify, calling it by the name, saying this is Islam. Not apologizing for like, like the whole bull crap, you know, saying like, you know, if this was happening in some other Western countries, the leaders would be like, well, the cartoons were bad and we wouldn't support it. Mm -hmm. However, we think like, obviously, this is a crime. This is a heinous crime and we call it out. This is radicalism. But again, this is not Islam and all that crap. They're like, nope, Samuel is a, our goddamn hero. We're all Samuel. Um... This not only he didn't do something wrong, he's a, he's he's like we all like one of he's our role model right now, and yeah, guess what? This is Islam. So I'm really I'm le you know the government in France is like you're calling it out by its name. Not see this is a very subtle dance, subtle 
area to like to be able to not promote bigotry against Muslims, uh, to not, however, call it Islam as it is, right? Uh, not to con condemn the killing, but also condemn somehow the teacher for drawing the Ma Muhammad. Be like, hey, but I wouldn't do it myself. And I wouldn't endorse it. However, the killing is bad. Nope, nope, nope. The teacher was a goddamn hero. That's what. It, that's what's up, mm -hmm. right? So I, I like it. Rivka, can you please read this comment by Katie? Because I'm not trying to embarrass myself with my French again. You're muted. Athe uh, saying Charlie Hebdo cartoons were projected on the Montpellier government building in France. So Montpellier, they did. They projected these big, the big. Uh, Charlie Hebdo uh, covers mm. cartoons, but I, yeah, and that was great, and I, I was really happy to see that, and I agree with you, Armin, and I think that it's really, really important um, that the French are doing this, and also, I think it's something that a lot of people don't seem to understand in the West. I know a lot of fundamentalists, uh, is Muslim fundamentalists get this and the French get this. France, part of the reason France is a target is France is the seat of the Enlightenment. France is where, you know, granted these things came from everybody, it's the seat of the Enlightenment, the idea about freedom from arbitrary religious authority, um, the scientific method, individualism, freedom of thought, freedom of expression. All of these things, or the uh, seat is in France. And They've enshrined laissez-te, the secularism, into their constitution. It's part of who they are. And I think yeah. it's really, really important that they are taking those reins back. And not that they ever left them, but there was this sort of kind of fell to the wayside. And now they're taking it back and they are saying, no, this is the values of France are the values of free expression. Mm -hmm. You have the right to say what you think. If you don't, then all other human rights are really dis devalued. Because if you can't say what you think, whether someone likes it or not, then what do all these other rights mean? You have to be able to say what you think. And in doing that is how all these other things come about, you know, all the um, other human rights and also all the um, other freedoms we cherish, all the expanses of modernity, technology, literature, art, all of this comes from a lot of it from the Enlightenment values. And those are and should be defended. And Macron and the rest of the people are in France who are doing this, you know, bravo, bravo, mm -hmm. because I'm so I can't even express my feeling of love and respect for France for, for doing this and for making such a strong stance against the, um, the um, destruction of enlightenment values. Yeah. It's super important to hold fast to that. Yeah. The, I, there was a quote from a good piece I read in the guardian. I can't remember the author, but um, the title was the freedom to offend is a priceless commodity. And I completely agree. Keenan Malik, Keenan Malik, Keenan yeah, Malik, who's a fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. And there was another quote, I think you may have even posted it from Ion Hirsi Ali is about how, um, you know, being afraid to give offense means that you don't see me as an equal. Mm -hmm. that there's like two categories of people and i think that that's a really important thing to think about no you know so yeah um really quickly thank you aga for 10 australian dollars it's a super sticker of a little shiba inu with a heart and um <laughs> thank you AGA. we love you and then we got five dollars from d thank you d she's saying i wish muslims would make cartoons of atheists a cartoon war sounds awesome i fully am behind this in fact the other day on my twitter i posted um, how would you blaspheme against atheism? Not atheists, because people were talking about, oh, do do Hitchens, do Dawkins, blah, blah, blah. That's, that's an individual. That's too easy. How would you blaspheme atheism? So I'm still, I, I got a lot of creative responses. I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> and actually, I agree with Dee, because when Muslims are making cartoons and 
expressing themselves in that way, it changes a lot of the game, right? Rather than killing people for making I for expressing ideas, they're able to use humor or you know political cartoons or whatever. Then then all of a sudden, it seems that they're coming to the table in a different way. Yeah, and be offensive and see how it's met. I think the best ones I've seen, um, are not blaspheming, uh, but co- jokes uh, against atheists, I think the ones that were actually funny were about somebody telling an atheist that they're in love and them not believing it, asking for evidence. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like you can't see. Hey, that's you know, it's funny. I guess that that, is that's funny. <laughs> so. Oh my gosh, I love they that. could do that. Yes, cartoon words. Imagine is this, if everything is this was testable? cartoon. What are the? <laughs> yeah, the test is it. How do I verify this? Is it repeatable? <laughs> is it peer reviewed? Yeah, can I replicate this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh. yeah, but imagine if all we just like if we all words were replaced by cartoon words, wouldn't the world be a lot better? I'd like, be so just, into that. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that. They want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even you know, people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about <laughs> that anymore. But we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos 